Welcome everyone. Everyone say hi to Taylor. Taylor is helping me out today as we spotlight the masks that are part of this month's kudos. First off, we have the exfoliating mask that she will be demonstrating on half of her face. The other one is the yellow brightening mask and that is what Draylen is showing to you. And then the last one that I have is the perfecting mask. It's the charcoal mask. And there is a fourth option of like the oil control. It's a green mask. But because we really don't suffer from oily skin, I haven't purchased that mask. Of all the masks here that Taylee has, the brightening mask, can you show the brightening masks again, the yellow one? This is the only one that you leave on and let dry on your face and then you pull it off. Dre will show you that a little later in the video. The other two that Taylee is gonna demonstrate, one on each side of her face, they're perfect for in the shower to do once to twice a week to really help exfoliate and complement your face. So first off, I'm gonna have Taylee bend down and just get her face slightly wet in the sink and then she'll pop back up here. You kind of want to start with a damp face. And she used pure cold water, best choice. So she's going to grab whichever mask she wants to go with first. And she's going to put a thin layer of this on one side of her face. This one is the exfoliating mask and this is honestly my favorite. Go ahead and rub that in. You don't need to do it thick, kind of like a soap. <laughs> now, what do you feel in here, Taylee? Does it's it sandy? It feels sandy, yep. It's got little granulars. So this one is the perfect exfoliating mask. For mature skin, this is the dream in that under eye area, cheek area, um, around the nose where we get a lot of blocked pores. And this is the mask that is my favorite and the most that I recommend because it, because it um, really helps exfoliate the skin. So go ahead and rinse your fingers off. What does it feel? Does it tingle in you a little bit? It's got a little tingle to it. Um, go ahead and have me lift. It, it feels like there's a little bit of menthol in it, but not really. It kind of smells like oatmeal-ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's really granular and it really helps exfoliate the skin. Now, I always put my mask on towards the beginning of my shower and just let it like she did here where she keeps it away from her eye. And the heat of the shower or just letting it be on your face for about five minutes, it, you really can start to feel it tingle. Do you feel that tingle? Now this one tingles a little bit more, probably because you're rubbing those granulars into the skin. Okay, now this one here, why don't you show on the camera real quick. This one is the perfecting, it's kind of a charcoal mask. Okay, go ahead. And you can put, you're not gonna wanna put this one on as thick or it would take forever to put it on as thick. It is a charcoal, it has a different smell um, I don't, let me smell it here. It has minimal to no smell to it, but it is the charcoal mask. And there's no granulars in it. It's smooth. It is smooth. Um, the one thing that I did notice about this is, you know, I get the black under my nails a little bit more. Um, but as she rubs this on her face and she just kind of lets it sit a little bit, Go ahead, there you go, up the side of your nose. Now I also, this is the one with the heat of the shower that I actually felt probably the most um, tingling. Now, like I said, the granulars of this side kind of makes your skin tingle, but I actually think the charcoal makeup of this one makes your skin tingle. Do you feel this one tingling at all? Very slightly? Yeah, and this one, this one doesn't have any granulars in it. It's actually just the charcoal pieces of the mask that it's making. Um, either of these are really good options. This one is more exfoliating, while this one is more just kind of hydrating and cleansing more like your typical charcoal mask. And then this mask here, like I said, that Draylon, thank you, <laughs> dropped it right in the water, that Draylon is demoing for us. This one is nothing but like a skin plumping, glowing mask. And this does have a tingle to it first. Probably the very first time you use it, you might even say it's a burn. 
um, but as you use it more and more, it's just kind of a brightening plumping. So I'm gonna give Tay the wash rag and she's gonna wash these off for us. Okay, <clears throat> now typically masks are done of an evening, but whether you do them of a morning or of an evening, after you do your mask, typically you can go right into your cleanser or maybe even skip the cleanser st um, step and then you are right there <coughs> ready to go in with your rose water and your serum and your moisturizer and your makeup of a morning or your rose water right into your nighttime um, uplift beauty oil and your night moisturizer. So go ahead and lather up. And I'd like to thank Taylor for hopping on today and demonstrating our math. Talk to you guys later. Hello, ladies. Uh, you get another Draylon special. Uh, this month's kudos is mask, so I'm going to be d demonstrating um, a brightening mask. This is the new uh, packaging that comes in, and uh, this is the old one, so I'm going to be using that for today's mask. And as you can tell, it's really shiny gold. So this mask is <clears throat> the only one that you really have to let dry and um, as of right now it gives a little bit of a tangle feeling across your face. It kind of freshens it but I, I like this mask uh, for pre-makeup. Um, works whenever you have time. Usually it takes about 15 minutes for it to dry. Depends on how heavy you go, which you don't want to get it in your hairline either because it will take out some of your hair. Okay, as you can see, it's all on. And magically, in about two seconds, it's all gonna dry and it's gonna be off my face. And just like that, face is all uh, drying right now. So now I wanna peel it off. Face is all bright and now just gotta wash off the rest of it and then we'll be good for the next one. Hello, so we just finished washing off the rest of the math mask. Like I said, part of this month's kudo along with BB cream and this is FP 
no, SPF uh, finishing powder, which I'm going to be demonstrating today also. So I have my shade uh, Bisque. I'm just going to put that all over my face. I've also already done primer. So, oh, sorry. Okay, now that we have our BB cream on, um, we're going to use the powder, which, pump it, my hands are a little oily right now from uh, putting some moisture on my face. Ooh, I like that. And just like that, I have my face done. This is a really nice and quick, easy way to freshen up your face. And now I'm ready for the day.